Hello, and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the agave striata. The agave striata, also called narrow leaf century plant, is an attractive, slow-growing houseplant with a long lifespan. It can serve as a focal feature in your home or office. Agave striata is a succulent plant that grows in the desert and other warm areas of northeastern Mexico. In warmer climates, this agave, which can grow up to 18 inches tall and 3 feet wide, makes a lovely garden plant. It will also make an attractive and unique container plant for your house or patio if planted indoors. It is a succulent shrub-like plant with long, narrow leaves that are usually green in color. The plant gets its name from these thin, strippy leaves radiating outwards from the center of the rosette. The lance-like leaves are tipped with a sharp, brown terminal rosette that adds drama to the structure and makes the succulent quite unsafe to handle. Narrow leaf century plants need full sun, so place them in a south-facing window if possible. Most varieties of succulents need at least half a day to a full day of sunlight. If not, you can put the plant in the room with the most light. The plant can easily grow in light shade conditions as long as its other needs are met, but the growth will not be as vigorous. These plants require abundant, bright, and direct sunlight. Place this plant less than one foot from a window to ensure it receives enough light to survive. If grown in full sun, provide some protection from the hot afternoon sunlight. The narrow leaf century plant needs little water and does best in dry soil. After planting, give the plant a good soak and let it dry between watering. Depending on the size of your agave, you may only need to water it once every one or two months. However, if there's no rain in your area for a while and your soil is dry, Water it lightly every week or so. The ideal temperature range for narrow leaf century plant is between 55 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This plant cannot tolerate cold temperatures well if wet. It is frost hardy to USDA zones 7 through 11, but only if kept completely dry. It prefers a dry climate, so your agave might not do very well if you live in an area with high humidity. Make adjustments and provide the plant with the best growing environments like airy, dry, and less humid. Agave plants do not need fertilization. Please keep in mind that feeding causes blooms and flowering results in the agave's demise. If you want your plant to live a long time, don't fertilize it. Agave striata is a slow-growing plant that doesn't need much in the way of fertilizer. A balanced liquid fertilizer with a ratio of about 10 to 1010 10 or 20 to 2020 20 should be sufficient to provide your succulent with all the nutrients it needs. Agave striata can be propagated by offsets. It is the safest, fastest, and most reliable method of propagation of these plants. These plants develop stems that can be easily cut off to grow a new plant. Most varieties are capable of self-propagating in two ways, by producing offsets and seeds. Start the process by making sure that your parent plant is well-established and healthy. Once you have chosen an offset to propagate, cut it off from the parent plant. A removed shoot may be planted immediately into a container if it has roots and no wound at the base. It will take around five days for a removed shoot with no roots and a wound to completely dry out and heal if the same is kept in a cool, well-ventilated area. After that plant, the offset in soil that has sufficient drainage and ventilation. Usually, it will survive and take root in 10 days. Water thoroughly and place the container in a sunny spot. The new agave will begin to grow roots. Potting and repotting agave striata should be done in the spring or summer. If your plant is too big for its pot, repotting is recommended. Use a container slightly larger than the previous one. Use a clay or terracotta pot with drainage holes. Use a good quality, fast-draining potting mix. 
You can also use cactus soil or add perlite or vermiculite to regular potting soil. When planting in the ground, make sure the soil is well-drained and free of pests. Choose a spot where the plant gets at least six hours of direct sunlight daily. Remove the agave from its old pot and gently shake off any excess soil. Brush away any debris stuck to the roots. Place the agave in its new pot and fill up your new pot with fresh potting medium, leaving enough room for growth. Place your plant into the new container and gently press down on the soil. Water the plant and place it back in its selected spot. Agave striata are mildly toxic, with sap that can irritate the skin and cause itching. However, it is not known to be poisonous if ingested. These plants are susceptible to agave snout weevils, scale insects, slugs, and snails. The agave snout weevil is the most common pest for the agave striata. This weevil can be identified by its snout-like nose and black body with white spots. It eats holes in leaves, causing damage that looks similar to that caused by a leaf manure. Scale insects are another common pest for the agave striata. These pests can be identified by their hard, often circular bodies covered with a waxy coating. They suck sap from leaves and leave behind a secretion that attracts ants. Slugs and snails chew through the leaves, messing up the plant's aesthetic. They leave behind trails of slime and can cause a lot of damage. If you find slugs or snails on your agave, you should remove them immediately. Please note and avoid overwatering the plant, placing it under harsh sunlight, using poorly drained potting mediums, and fertilizing during the dormancy period.